Yellowstone supervolcano warning as 90,000 would immediately die in a horror eruption. We're talking about a super eruption, one of the world's largest active volcanic, volcanic systems. About 21 super volcanoes uh, are found around the world. An eruption at Yellowstone would affect not only the U.S., but the whole world. The last supervolcanic eruption to occur on planet Earth came 27,000 years ago when Stone Age humans were crafting flints and painting caves. Back then, the Taupo supervolcano of New Zealand's North Island exploded in what was known as the Orua Nui eruption. It covered the island in as much as seven inches of ash, with material thought to have been deposited a staggering 620 miles away. What makes the supervolcano the supervolcanoes different is their magnitude, the Volcano Explosivity Index (VEI), which comes at an eight, meaning at one point in time they erupted more than 1,000 cubic kilometers or 240 cubic miles of material. The U.S. Yellowstone caldera is one such supervolcano, and has for decades seriously concerned volcanologists who fear that humans would not be able to do anything to prevent the fallout from a future super eruption. Located in Wyoming, Yellowstone National Park is as beautiful as they come, but beneath its surface hides a huge caldera home to a super volcano. It has remained dormant for the more than 600 years, but some scientists fear that the sleeping giant might one day awake. Pressure beneath the park's surface has mounted for thousands of years and is occasionally released by the various geysers which have popped up from the ground. Yellowstone has over 10,000 hydrothermal areas and over 60% of the world's geysers. In the event of an eruption, heat rising deep beneath the volcano would make its way upwards and melt the molten rock just below the ground surface creating a mixture of magma, rock, vapor, carbon dioxide, and other volcanic gases. A dome will eventually build and cause the ground to rise, and eventually blow its lid, covering neighboring states Montana and Idaho in volcanic magma and ash. And according to How Stuff Works, the initial blast would immediately kill astonishing 90,000 people, and that's only the start. The blast would send three meters of that's over 100 feet of magma across 1,000 miles of land, preventing rescue teams from reaching certain areas and the blast site itself, which would lead to loss of life. Ash sent spiraling into the atmosphere would stop all travel within a few hundred miles radius, similar to what happened to when Iceland's Ejjalajökull uh, volcano erupted in 2010. This ash would travel around the world and lead to something known as a nuclear winter, a volcanic winter, with ash and debris blocking out sunlight and forcing temperatures to drop. The climate would shift with massive amounts of sulfur dioxide being sent into the atmosphere, which may form a sulfur aerosol that reflects and absorbs sunlight. With a temperature drop of up to 10 degrees Celsius, Crops would fail to grow, which would lead to famine in large parts of the world. With the after effects of a Yellowstone eruption, would undoubtedly change the way the world works. The United States Geological, Geological Survey, USGS, estimates that there is around a 0.0014% chance each year that the potentially catastrophic volcano could blow. The agency previously said in a statement, Fortunately, the chances of this sort of eruption at Yellowstone are exceedingly small in the next few thousand years. There is no evidence that a catastrophic eruption at Yellowstone is imminent, and such events are unlikely to occur in the next few centuries. Scientists have also found no indication of any imminent smaller eruptions of lava. This is by Joel Day on, US, on Express UK. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support.
and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.